Hello guys, this is Mauro from Printfotech.com and on this video I want to share with you the 7 best features available with Windows 10 October 2018 update also known as version 1809. Before we move on, I have also created a video that walks you through all the new features and improvements with version 1809 so make sure to check the video description below to find the link to the video and other tutorials. The first is the dark theme for File Explorer. Although you will have to wait a little bit longer to get native support for tabs in File Explorer, starting with version 1809, Windows 10 introduces a dark theme for File Explorer that also extends to the context menus and other elements. The new dark theme is part of the system dark theme and you can enable it from the personalization settings, more specifically on the colors page. So this is how the dark theme looks like with the different shades of blacks throughout the different parts of File Explorer. You can also right click to access the context menu that also uses the dark color scheme and you can also see these colors reflected on the uh, different tabs and on the uh, file menu. We have been able to copy text and images to the clipboard and paste them on any application for a long time, but it's been a feature limited to one device. Starting with the October 2018 update, Windows 10 is introducing a new clipboard experience that uses the Microsoft Cloud to allow you to copy and paste content across devices. In addition, the new clipboard also introduces a new interface which you can invoke using the Windows key plus B keyboard shortcut to view your history, paste previous content, and pin items that you may need to paste on your daily basis. If the feature isn't enabled on your, on your device, you can turn it on from this interface, or you can also open the settings app, and you will find a new clipboard page where you can enable the clipboard history. If you want to sync your content across devices, you also have to turn on this feature, and you have to select how the clipboard will sync your content across devices. You can use the automatically sync text that you copy using this option. Everything you copy will immediately be synced across your devices that uses the same Microsoft account. Or you can also select the never automatically sync your text you copy. If you enable this option, once you copy something, and open the clipboard experience, you will have to click the sync button to make it available across devices. If you have certain pieces of content that you copy constantly, you can also pin that content to the list so it is always available even if you click the uh, clear all button. Uh, this new experience is a complement of the uh, clipboard that has been available on Windows 10 for a long time. So you can, you can still use the Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste but you can also use the uh, Windows V keyboard shortcut to open the new experience and then if you want to paste something from your history just click on it and, and it will paste it on the document. If you want to clear your history you can do so from the Windows V experience or you can also do it from the clipboard page. Just remember that those items that you pinned to your history will not be deleted when you click the clear button. If you need to delete those items, you will have to do it manually. In this new version of Windows 10, Microsoft is also adding important changes to the search experience. Starting with version 1809, we are getting a new search experience that uses a wider interface to accommodate previews in the right pane to access more information and actions a lot faster. For example, searching for Notepad on the right side, the new experience will surface common actions, including options to run as an administrator, open file location, pin to start, or taskbar. You also see if you're searching for an app, you're also going to see your your recent documents. If for example you're looking for a document not on the right side, not only you're going to find common actions, but information about that file, including the last time it was modified it, the lo and the location for that file. Windows 10 is also introducing a new snipping experience that combines the old snipping tool with the screen sketch, previously part of the uh, Windows Sync workspace, into a single modern experience to take screenshots. Using this tool, you can take screenshots on Windows 10 in three different ways. You can take rectangular screenshots,
you can use the freeform clip and you can take a screenshot of the entire screen in addition the app includes different tools that you can use to annotate the image Alongside the ability to take a screenshots using this tool, you can also bring up the snipping tools from the new button that is included on Action Center, which is called Scream Snip. Or you can now use the Windows Shift plus S keyboard shortcut to bring up the snipping tools. On Windows 10, the storage sense helps you to free up space automatically as your device starts running out of space. And with the October 2018 update, there is a new feature that automatically makes unused OneDrive content available only online to free up even more additional space on your computer. The option is called locally available cloud content and you can use the drop down menu to select the time that Windows 10 will consider content unused and make them available only online. Of course, using File Explorer, you will still be able to access those files, but you will need an internet connection to open them. In previous version, we have been able to change the font side of the entire system, such as for File Explorer, Start Menu, Settings, and Control Panels and Apps. But for an odd reason, this option was removed from the operating system. However, starting with version 18.09, the feature is back in the Ease of Access section of the Settings app. Using this new slider option, you can quickly adjust the font size for the Start Menu, Titles, Message Boxes, Icons, and Tooltips for all apps. Although for many users this might be a small addition, it is a big feature for users who need larger font to read content on the screen more clearly. Although this is still a work in progress, the Your Phone app is one of the best features you are going to find in this new version. Your Phone is a new experience designed to integrate your phone even further into your computer, allowing you to access text, photos, and notifications from your phone wirelessly. The new experience currently works with Android devices and on this first release, the app allows you to link your phone to your PC and access recent photos and drag those photos to the desktop. And you can also view and respond to text messages or even create a new message. So these are the seven features that I think are the best on Windows 10 version 18.09. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.